know, honestly, Melaine, I'm not sure how Jordan is going to make time for all his new skills, but this hobby week, he is learning a lot. Today, he is at Anna's Sewing Studio in Appleton. Good morning, Jordan. Painting, sewing, I do it all. Today, I'm in the captain's chair sewing, and we're having a lot of fun at the place formerly known as Julie's, but it is now Anna's Sewing Studio. And guess who we have alongside us? It's Anna herself. How are you doing today? I'm great. Good. I'm excellent. Let's talk about your store a little yeah. bit. This place is awesome. It is way bigger than I expected, and you guys got things as far as I can see. Yeah, we have a lot. We just got 13 fabric cabinets in, so we were getting a lot of new fabric. Mm -hmm. Coming in, we have tons of machines, Brother, Fof, and Juki here at the Appleton store. I do have three stores, one in Wassa, one in Appleton, and one in Green Bay. Yeah. We sell Husqvarna Viking also in our Wassa store. And we repair machines and do classes. We just have a ton of fun. We're remodeling the store and rearranging things mm -hmm. and expanding. So it is a little messy right now, but hey, we're having a lot of fun. That's what we expect at a remodel. So, you know yeah. what? That is awesome. And you know what you're saying? You got everything we need to get started. Uh, so why don't we take a... Uh, Take our skills and, and okay. test them out a little bit. What am I going to work working on today? Well, right now we're making this infinity scarf, and because even though it doesn't feel like it today, winter is coming. Oh yes. I hate to tell you that. Um, and so what we're going to do is this is a quick, easy, fun gift to give away, or um, just to make for yourself. Yeah. So what I did was I just took a piece of Shannon fabric, which you can also use rayon or any type of fabric to make this scarf, and I took a 36 inch by 18 and a half inch piece and I sewed the top part and I, I folded it in half long, long ways, yeah. right sides together, and then I stitched across. Then what I did was I you bring it right side out, so I'm going to do that for you real quick here, and then what you're going to do is lay it flat and you're going to twist it. Okay. And then when you after you twist it, you're going to pull, start bringing this wrong side out, but leave the twist inside, Sure. which is the only tricky part to this until you match the seams up just like we did here. And you're good at that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really does not take much practice at all to do this. Cool. The only thing that is fun when you're dealing with Minky or Shannon fabric, which is this really nice soft type of fabric, is you want to make sure you have a walking foot. Or if you have a Foth machine, the walking foot's already in the machine. Yeah. So, and you just match these up and then what you're going to do, what you've started doing is you're yeah. going to start sewing a 3 8 inch seam all the way around, you're going to leave a two-inch gap opening so you can turn it right side out. I mean, I'm not very good at sewing, but hey, I you're doing just fine. at least have got, you know, the right idea, I think. I what, think so. What are some of the big projects that you can work on this time of year? What, I mean, masks are one of them, I, I assume. Right. We make a lot of masks, obviously, but right now it's Christmas, getting ready for Christmas. Everybody likes to make Christmas projects for their family. Yeah. Um, lots of pillows, pillowcases, 10-minute table runners freestanding lace, which um, you can also do with embroidery machines, because sewing has come so far. Um, you don't just have to do sewing projects. You can get an embroidery machine, an embroiderer, you can get a scan and cut. It will cut your fabric out for you. Uh, they all also are Wi-Fi enabled, so they all communicate to each other. Um, <laughs> it's like a little computer in it here. And the, uh, you have your own tablet in your yeah. machine. Yes. I mean, look at there's a tablet on this one. I mean, the, I mean, they'll uh, even text you when you run out of bobbin thread. <laughs> so on your phone, if you go out, mow the lawn, and you're embroidering, it'll it'll text you when you're out of bobbin thread. All right, guys, I am almost done with this project. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see it. It's going to be in the next segment, so stay tuned. That technology is really amazing. Hopefully your wife isn't watching because I have a feeling you're making a Christmas <laughs> present. Thank you, Jordan. Jordan is also picking up a... Maybe he could sew some blankets for our puppies. He is taking a look at the technology of sewing machines, one that can even text you this morning. Yeah, making it easier than ever to pick up this hobby. He's at Anna's Sewing Studio in Appleton. Good morning. Where's my puppy, guys? Come on. But no, this kind of looks like one, I guess, but it's going to be a nice comfy scarf when I get done with it. So, Anna, what, am, what do I got to do to finish up this scarf project that we started before? Well, we left that little two-inch hole, and so now you're turning it all right side out. Yeah. 
and you already started it, so now you just have to pop it through the rest. It's, I'm trying. This is harder than uh, it looks. This it, is the, yeah. This, this, I thought the sewing part was probably easier than yeah, this. Yeah, well, it would be with all the new bells and whistles <laughs> and the sewing machines. The sewing machines are a piece of cake nowadays. All right, so I'm going to finish this up, and as I do so, I'm going to start this embroidery yes. machine, and you say you got a lot of these and a lot of cool projects that go along yes, with this, the, too. Yes, this is an embroidery machine, and this embroidery and sewing. And this I have set up to make Christmas ornaments. Look and it's it just go. finishing up um, stitching the Christmas ornament. So, um, and then once it's done, uh, it will stop and cut my thread for me, and I'm just on to my um, next project. So, all it's doing is stitching out the last piece because I got everything all stitched out. Once it's done, um, then all you're going to do is you can hit the stop button real quick. Sure. So, otherwise, it's a little loud. Um, but then, once I'm done, all I'm going to do is I'm going to run it under hot water, and it just the stabilizer disappears, and it's now a Christmas ornament after and it dries. That is a fantastic, and it's stuff like this that you can transform maybe into that one yes. day too. Yes. Yes. So this is a freestanding pumpkin, and you cut, you do each piece, and then you just put it together like a 3D <laughs> puzzle, and you can stick lights in it, and all of that. There's another puzzle or a pumpkin. These are freestanding. Christmas trees, this is all made out of a thread, and you just do the same concept with oh, it. Um, and then when you're done, you just dissolve it under water and it's ready to go. That is fantastic. And you have some uh, options here. Uh, these yes. are what you're going to be making in your classes. Too. Yes, so this is a virtual class that we are having with Embroidery Garden, and this is already the kit's already cut for you. We even cut out all the cork for you. So all you have to do is pick up the kit and you get the link. And on November 14th, the teacher will be there all day doing these projects with you at home. So you can do all of that at home. So there's three projects you're going to do. It's this project, this project, and then there's a little notepad project you're going to do. And if you want to come to your store, you have three of them. Yes, we have three. For one in Wausau, one in Appleton, which will be changing to Honest Sewing Studio here in the near future. Mm -hmm. And then Julie's uh, Honest Sewing Studio in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And we do have classes with the pandemic. We are limiting the amount of people in the class. Um, but you definitely can come to the class, and then we do offer virtual classes also. You guys, I had so much fun today. I learned so much, too. Going home with a cool scarf. I'm going to take this purse, too, while I'm at it. Why not? It's awesome. <laughs> He's on his way to get Christmas shopping done. All right. Thank you, Jordan.